This video is brought to you by Sayrite. Visit Sayrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Got an upholstery application that requires decorative nails, or what some call decorative tacks? Why not consider using a shortcut approach which makes the job much easier and quicker? In the installation of individual decorative nails. These decorative nails are all attached to make one long strip, so all you have to do is secure a decorative nail only occasionally along the run to secure it in place. We've reupholstered this chair and are now installing the backrests rear panel. First we will pin the fabric to the chair creating a neat single fold hem line along the edge of the panel. Once it is securely pinned in place and we're happy with the look, we can begin using the decorative nails. While Zach is pinning the fabric in place, let's discuss the traditional approach to decorative nails. Traditionally, decorative nails were installed one at a time. That approach is tried and true and typically results in a more professional look. However, it takes a lot of time and effort. This continuous strip of decorative nails still looks good but it only takes about a third of the time to install. Now that the panel is pinned in place, we're ready to use the decorative nail head trim. It's easy to cut with wire cutters. We'll start at the center at the top of the chair. The strip is centered on the chair with equal lengths left and right of center. Use the included nail heads and hammer them in the pre-spaced holes. The nail heads match the trim. It almost blends in completely for a great look. As we move to the next opening, we will remove any T-pins that are in the way, holding the fabric in place and securing the next nail head. You may be asking, what do you do when you come to a corner? Well, the nice thing about the decorative nail head trim is that it can be bent to match the corner. Adjustments to the fabric can also be made as you continue to secure the decorative nail head trim in place. If your hem slightly off, just remove the pin, make adjustments, and then tack the next nail head. What about 90 degree turns? Here at the bottom of this chair we have one. Let's move on to that location. Watch here as Zach bends the strip or the trim in place. The trim takes the 90 degree turn nicely. You can see in the corner the decorative nail head is slightly out of shape but it still looks great. Typically the two ends of the trim will meet up at the bottom in the center location. For our upholstery job the trim meets up so the pre-spaced holes are directly on top of each other. That is rather rare and unexpected. So for us, we will cut the excess away with wire cutters and place the two ends on top of each other and insert a nail head. If yours is not like ours, which is likely the case, you would use a small drill bit and drill a hole in the last nail head, and then insert one of the provided nail heads in that hole. Our upholstered chair is now done and looks great. This is the back side of the chair. There are multiple ways that panels like this can be installed. Sarite also supplies the traditional decorative upholstery nails and also the flexible metal tack strip. Check them out at Sarite today. It's your loyal patronage to Sarite that makes these free videos available. I'm Eric Grant and from all of us here at Sarite, thanks for watching.